15 here. So I've had the 2024 Tesla Model 3 Highland Performance for about a week now. And I've got a chance to do some zero to 60 timing. So here in the US, we get the Panasonic battery pack in the Model 3 Performance. This is slightly higher discharge than the LG pack used in the rest of the world. And as you can see, they're advertising a zero 60 time with one foot subtracted. Most auto reviewers will also subtract one foot rollout. I use my Draghi to do some zero 60 timing. It's tough to find an area that's level, that has good road surface and no traffic so you can uh, fully test it out. I just did a couple of hits and here's my best that I got with the new performance. So Tesla Light, I got 3.04 seconds without one foot rollout at about 80% state of charge. So Tesla is advertising the Model 3 performance to do zero to 60 seconds in 2.9 seconds with one foot rollout. But when you look at the draggy slip, I did 2.8 seconds with one foot rollout and I've seen a lot there with 2.7. In comparison, here's my 2022 Model 3 performance. Tesla advertised this to do 3.1 seconds with one foot rollout. It's about half a second slower than the new Tesla Model 3 Performance Ludicrous. Because if you notice, the 0 to 60 with one foot raw is very close to the 3.1 seconds that they advertised then. So sadly, now there's not even a doubt that this 2024 Model 3 Performance is faster than the C8 Corvette. Here's the C8 Corvette. Now this is using launch control in the same area. Now under perfect conditions, they can pull off a 2.8 or 2.9 second with one foot rollout. I got 3.42 seconds without rollout, just about three seconds with one foot rollout. Now this is not as easy to do as it is in the Tesla. There you go. There's my initial zero to 60 testing. I know others have posted some even crazy faster numbers with the seats removed and taking weight out, uh, but that's what you'll probably see on the street. Remember to like and subscribe for more videos about Tesla, Rivian, Wi-Fi, and tech products.